Hello, and welcome to Let's Play with Creative Arts Theater, the city of Tampa's professional theater for young audiences. My name's Christopher, and today we're going to be creating a silent story. As actors, we not only use our words to tell stories, but we use our bodies. In our play, Cinderella Secret Agent, there were times when the narrator, the great fairy godmother, or GFG for short, told you, our audience, what was happening in the story, and the other actors acted it out with their bodies. You can find that show and a lot of other great content on the web at bit.ly slash tprvirtual. That's TPR, like Tampa Parks and Recreation Virtual. So, how exactly does silent story work? In this game, you get to listen to the story I'm telling and then create it with your body as we go. When you play this game at home with your family, you can tell a new story or even read one that's already been written or recite one that you've memorized. The opportunities are endless. Your story can be scary <laughs> or funny, <laughs> sad or ridiculous. The possibilities are endless. And the best part is, there are no wrong choices. That's right, the rules to this game are simple and finite. One, have fun. And two, create together. This means that if you're the verbal storyteller, you wanna make your story interesting, but not impossible for the physical storytellers to tell. Also, there's no limit to the number of physical storytellers. It's only limited by the size of your family. I'll give you an example of a story I made up and how I might tell it with my body. You wanna give it a try with me? Just act out the story as you hear it. Here we go. Once upon a time, in a faraway kingdom, lived a giant and a mouse, who were old friends. One day, the old friends met for a walk in an enchanted forest. They were very happy to see one another. Just after they had said their hellos, they noticed a strange and magical noise coming from a nearby bush. There, under the bush, they found a rather sad-looking bullfrog who seemed to be glowing. The mouse asked the bullfrog why he was crying and he told them a sad tale of how his cozy home in the soft moss at the foot of the tree where the fairies lived was destroyed by hunters who had come looking for the fairies to steal their magical fairy dust while he was away collecting herbs for his very favorite shoe fly stew which he was making for dinner that night. Now his home is destroyed and he doesn't know if he'll be able to glow long enough to rebuild his home and make his stew before he can recharge by the light of the sun. <laughs> the giant bends low and whispers, so as not to frighten the bullfrog, that he is welcome to accompany them back to his house in the valley, where his glowworm has been sunning himself all day and will provide enough light to make the pizza he and Mouse were planning to have for dinner. He tells the bullfrog that he's welcome to split the pizza with them, and he can even put flies on his portion. He also tells the bullfrog that he's welcome to stay overnight on the soft, warm feather pillow he keeps for occasions just like this one. The two old friends and the one new one walk happily from the forest toward the giant's house in the valley for an evening of shared pizza with friends old and new. The end. Did you join me in telling this story with your bodies? What other stories can you think of? Thank you for playing with me today. We would love to see how you and your family played Silent Story at home. Feel free to tag at Tampa Parks Recreation on Facebook or at Tampa Parks Rec on Twitter or Instagram. You can also use the hashtag Happy at Home TPA. Join us again soon for another installment of Let's Play with Creative Arts Theater. And remember, stay calm, stay kind, stay safe, and stay creative. Bye.